Hey everybody, this is Red Specs Gaming. Um, welcome back to Minecraft Eternal, except this is a supplemental to the normal Minecraft Eternal series. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions from several people about how we do the shaders and how that sets up, and they've had problems with Minecraft Eternal. So I figured I would do a supplemental here and kind of show you guys how um, I got it all working, and that way maybe you could follow suit. You can you know get the shaders going it's so much prettier with the shaders and if your system can handle it i recommend it because it just improves the minecraft experience completely um so you'll notice here we're not in the world that we normally are in this is actually the world that i play with my wife and friends on uh twitch so just wanted to give you a quick look at the way these look because today i've actually updated the shaders to the newest version of uh, Seuss Renewed. Now he has some some ray tracing shaders that he's working on as well, and I kind of played with them, but they don't work with the modded right now because there's so many different blocks that uh, emit light and do different things that he hasn't accounted for in in that. And eventually those will those will be working, and that looks really nice. But I'm going to show you this is a uh, Seuss Renewed version two, and you can see this is our our base that we share here. Um, in this and a bit more work done here obviously because I play this a bit more plus me and my wife share the base and you can see we've got nice water under the, I mean just look at how much nicer that looks it's really really nice um, definitely something I recommend but I wanted to, to explain to you how I got all this to work so the first thing we're gonna talk about um, is making sure that you uh, give Minecraft enough space right um, enough memory that you can actually uh, run these so I'm gonna show you on my twitch launcher and there's other ways to do this as well I'll show you how to do it on the twitch launcher however because this is what I use and you can see there's the different packs that I've downloaded and played with and if you go into your menu and you go up to settings and you go to the minecraft specific point if you scroll down you'll look um, right here you have allocated memory so right now I've allocated 8960 to minecraft um, sometimes if i feel like it's not performing great i'll push that up to 10. i've got 16 gigs of memory to use on my computer uh, if you have it to to run if you're going to run textures and shaders i recommend at least 8000 so that's the first thing that i'll show you now the second thing is is where to get these things so i have down here three websites that you're going to want to go to uh, my resource pack that I use is Sortex Fanvar, and you want to make sure you go to Sortex.net, downloads mod packs, and I'm going to put these links all in the description of this video, and you're specifically looking for the modded universal, because this kind of covers the most modded uh, different textures for mods. Uh, different people have worked on these, I believe, and put it together. And you want to make sure you get the 1.12 version, since we're playing 1.12.2. And you'll see this one's actually been updated um, the soonest since uh, any of these other ones. So make sure you pull that guy down. And that's that's the resource pack. And then you're going to take that resource pack. And you're going to come into your install of Minecraft. Um, mine is actually on a different game drive wherever you have your minecraft installed if you're using the twitch launcher make sure that you go to that directory um i think most people's it's in your users username um documents and then uh curse and then in there you'll have minecraft with instances and in the instances folder it'll be a lot like this except it'll start with the curse folder you go into the instances you go into minecraft eternal and you want to make sure your resource packs is where you put that so that's where you're dropping your your zip file i just go ahead and drop the zip file in there completely um next thing you need of course is you need optifine so you can't run shaders without optifine um like minecraft just doesn't know how to do it without this and this is technically a mod so what you're going to do is you're going to go to optifine.net downloads and you're going to come down here to minecraft 12.2 or 112.2 and you're going to get the latest. Just go ahead and pull the latest. That's the one that I'm running, that UF5 one. And then go back into your Minecraft Eternal folder and just drop that right into the mods with the rest of the mods. And so if we look at Optifine, you'll see I have that in there. Boom. UF5. That's the one I'm using. So 
pull that in there, drop it in your mods folder. And then finally, you need the actual shaders themselves, and you get those from Sonic Ether's website, SUSE. The ones I'm using anyways are the SUSE Renewed. Um, that, of course, stands for Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders. Uh, this website's a little weird right now. I was noticing when I was getting ready to set this up that you're, I'm getting a lot of errors about it being unsafe. I've used this website for a couple of years now and not had any problems, so I'm not sure why it's throwing those messages. But if you come to sonicether.com, download SUS Renewed version 1.00, um, you can download this off of here. Uh, that's what I have been using until today, and it worked fine for me. Um, I actually um, today went to, I'm going to go in there real quick and show you, Sonic Ether on Patreon. So I actually, for the first time, finally um, went to Sonic Ether's Patreon, and I started, I started throwing him some money every month because he's made some shaders that are, I mean, these shaders are the best in my opinion, and he puts a lot of work into that, and he does it on his own time. So I actually started, you know, being a patron of his and got in here and got the latest version of the Seuss Renewed. So there's actually a version two now that you can get. And then if you want, you can play with, if, you, if you're a patron of his, you can get the, the new ones, the ray tracing. And they work fine for vanilla. So if you're playing vanilla, I'd recommend, recommend the ray tracing. They're great. It's just some of the modded stuff because there's so many different things in there that he hasn't accounted for all that yet. That's still, you know, a work in progress. So anyways, get the, that file there, and then you're going to drop that. You're going to have to create this, this folder yourself, Shader Packs. You're going to go in here and you're going to drop it in here. And you can see, like, I've been playing with the ray tracing today, the, the version 12. I looked at his other renewed. Uh, he's got an E1 and an E2 is the one we're on right now. So we're using the E2. And once you put all that in there, what you have to do is you have to go into Minecraft, launch it, let it run. It'll take a little while to, to run. And um, let me go back out to the menu and I'll show you where you do that. One second here. Um, and you ha I recommend you do this from the main menu. Don't do this while you're in game. Um, in fact, I wouldn't recommend that you try to change the shaders on a big pack like this uh, more than once per run of the game. So if you if you change the shaders, decide you want to change it back, I would just kill the game and do it again because it really starts to get kind of gunky. Um, so if you're back in the main menu here, what you're going to do, once you have Optifine, you'll notice down here on the bottom left it says Optifine 122. Um, that means that, you know, if you see that, you know you've got it. You go into your options. Your resource packs are, of course, here. And you'll see the Sortex Vanvar will show here. Sometimes it says that it's not um, compatible. And it, I don't know why it does that sometimes, but I always just, if you click it over, it and it comes over here and you add it to the default too. So that's where you would do that. Um, I wouldn't worry about the not compatible. It's never been a problem um, for me anyways. Go into your video settings. Now you have a shaders button, which you wouldn't have had without Optifine. Optifine is actually what enables you to load shaders. So without Optifine, it just doesn't work. So if you click that guy, and you'll see a list of the shaders that you have in there. Now, here's where I think most people get caught up, and I'm not going to click anything because it will take forever. You have to be super patient, like when you're dealing with a big pack like this. In fact, the moment you put your resources in there, you're going to have to wait. It could be 10, 15 minutes, I've noticed, depending on your system. Um, mine can go 10, 15 minutes before that loads in. And then when you come in and you do your shaders, same deal. The moment you click one of these, because it should start it off, but the moment you click one of these shader files, it's not going to click. It's not going to do anything. It's going to seem like it's locked up. I tell everybody this jokingly, but the, click it, walk away. Just go downstairs, make yourself a drink, a coffee and a sandwich, something. Just walk away. Don't come back for 15 minutes because you'd be like, this is locked up. This has to be locked up, but it's not because what it's doing is it's reapplying all of those lighting rules to every kind of block in the game. It's, it's accounting all of the, the mods and the mod blocks and all of the effects and everything it has to do. And it's super slow and eventually it will clear. You'll know. Um, and then you can hit done, done again, done again, and you can now launch your game. So, in my case, we'll go back into the multiplayer server here, and it'll take a minute or two to load up, and then you should have shaders at that point. 
Uh, I want to show you one or two other things here real quick uh, in these shaders that I adjust for my game that I like, that you may like. Um, shader settings are completely up to you. Uh, whatever you figure out that you like better. But there's just two or three little things here I'll show you that, that make mine better for me, uh, that make everything look better. And, of course, uh, Seuss Renewed is not the only set of shaders. You can try other shaders. I have played with other ones. I just like the way these look the best. All right, so one of the things is uh, you'll notice we go into our options and our shader settings here. One moment. Video settings, shaders. And um, with that being the selected, you hit the shader options button down here. The first thing that I do personally is I turn off motion blur because I just I don't like motion blur. So I kill that. Uh, the second thing I recommend, um, where is it? Texture resolution. If you're using uh, what I'm using, you want that set to 64 because the textures are 64 by 64. Depending on what textures you're using, I would adjust that because that makes it run better. Ooh, scary noise. And then the next thing, sorry, not in there. Uh, lighting and shadows. I like my torch light fill to be four, but whatever you like. And I like my torch color temperature to be 3000. It just adjusts kind of the, the, the light and the way the, the cave looks. Um, the smaller this is, the darker it is. So here we'll, we'll adjust it back to one real quick and then give it a second. You can see the difference. It's, it's kind of cave like under here. Which, I mean, we do kind of live in a cave, but my preferred choice is four with that, especially when I'm making uh, videos for you guys to see. So we go back into our shader options here, go back into our lighting, and we're going to do our torch light back to full. Done, done, and done. All the duns. And it just, it's a little brighter. It's a little nicer in here. Let me uh, sleep real quick, because I think they were, or they might have already left their beds. I try to be a good partner on the uh, server and sleep when other people want to sleep so we'll wait and see if they if they hit their beds here We've got five people on the server right now um, that said uh, that's how you get it to run the biggest catch is just be patient when you click these things I'm not kidding 15 minutes walk away go go make a, a soda do whatever you need to do not to get frustrated with it because it will it will improve your your game for you Everything is so much nicer. Now, I do notice there's a little wonkiness going on here since I updated today. But, you know, shaders are works in progress. I, I don't entirely hate that, necessarily. What about our F7? Ooh, F7 actually works now. So I wonder if we went back to the uh, the pack. We need light over here. See this? This is, this is bad right here. Um, if we went back to the other, to the, the, the light thing built into the pack if that would uh, work now because remember I was having to trick it by being one block down but this seems to work fine now so he's fixed that in the latest in this 2.0 version anyways so that's basically shaders in a nutshell and how you do them um, I hope that was helpful for you I hope you guys can get yours set up and, and your game can start looking beautiful and you have a, a much better experience with Minecraft um, I hope that you know that that gets you rolling um if you like this video do me a favor and click the like button like button wow and uh if you want to see more uh minecraft from me and other games in the future hit the subscribe button for me and um yeah uh we'll have another minecraft eternal video for you hopefully this weekend or later this week and uh until then i hope everybody has a wonderful rest of your week bye now